Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Gento. I am back with some more NBA 2K18 videos for you guys. Um, Take a look at this. Well, first of all, I want to give a shout out. Got to give credit when credit's due. At 2K Leaks, I believe he made this. If not, he found this. And I got this from him. So, yeah. I know you guys seen last episode where we talked about the archetypes and the pros and cons for a lot of them especially when it comes to badges but one thing i want to cover today is the attribute caps like in my head i was like okay i want to be a passing and ball handling shot creator but now i'm looking at slasher i'm looking at passing and ball handling primary and then dunking or driving and finishing because take a look at this my mid range as a passing and ball handling shot creator it's 17 to 20 okay that's pretty good that's that's really good to be honest and then when i look at the three for the secondary driving and finishing 11 to 14 is not that low compared to 13 to 16 so i'm like hold up 2k actually looked out for these slashers slashers can actually shoot and i believe if i were to be a primary passing and ball handling with the secondary driving and finishing my dunks would be higher right as you guys see right here i get a 13 to 15 for my dunks and that's actually the highest out of all the other primary passing and ball handling so i'm like oh shoot i'll take it and my and remember my ball handling is still looking good guys it's at a 23. if i were to be a pure playmaker slash point forward i only get two extra bricks two extra blocks and if you don't know what 21 22 1 2 3 any of that means those are the blocks imagine you are looking at your screen right now and it's saying your attributes you know how it says one block two block three block etc etc yeah so now it's like oh shoot playmaker with driving and finishing is not that bad it's honestly not that bad i already get rebounds when it's low anyway so with my rebounds sitting at a seven to nine that's not that bad that's that's not that bad at all speed for all of them is still in the 20s so i'm not even worried about that so now it's like hold up People are sleeping. I know a lot of people were looking at the passing and ball handling, three-point shooting. The biggest downside to that one, dunks are at a four to eight. Four to eight. Yeah, that, that's pretty low. That's pretty low. I was still getting dunks when I played the game early. Nothing really too crazy, but I mean, that's still kind of low. If you look at it, a pure playmaker, it's a five to nine so you just get one under that the layup still look nice but i'm like i'm not trying to get the gento matumbo and come down full speed and finish with a finger roll i want to throw it down so that 13 to 15 with a decent three definitely 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 sounds nice so now i'm, I'm at a 50 50 right now i'm like hold up man hold up because remember last last episode when I was talking about the archetypes, I wasn't I don't even think I brought up the possibility of me making a passing and ball handling, driving and finisher. But the attributes are game changing. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, down in the comments below, let me know. Did this change your mindset on what type of archetype you're going to make? There's obviously a bunch of of other archetypes out there like as you guys see there's defending post scoring but there's nothing that says post scoring defending so slap that like button if you found this useful guys i'm about to finish up editing these hd crispy my career gameplays i got some other game modes too that i can't wait to show you guys subscribe if you're new man if you didn't subscribe already you're missing out on that hd crispy goodness thanks for watching